Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on and hopefully we can make the last of the Draconic uh, Crafting Fusion Injectors. That's quite a mouthful actually. Uh, so let's get started. So, let's have a look. I've almost got enough. We've actually got 7 Draconium plus 6 Nuggets and we've got 14 Essence. I've actually got another one. Mm, this should be in here. Yeah, that's finished off. I've got 22 more. So we've got 36, which is enough to do. It's basically four, I think. So that's the use of the essence. Yeah, four times, that's 18. So we go, oh, we get plenty. So we can use the use of these nuggets. Second page, click that in. And then we've got two more ingots. So we've got nine ingots, which is great. It gives us the block. That was close as it happened. <laughs> so we've got an awakened draconian block. We need two wyvern... Um, course now i have been to the end uh, and spent quite a lot of time in the end harvesting stuff so i've been harvesting ender ore i've been harvesting the chromium ore too and i've also built a new pickaxe this is an interesting pickaxe uh, i will cover these in later on i think i've touched on tinker's construct a bit but this one here is an over slime it's got over slime on it so basically it takes over slime before it starts doing durability. I didn't put the over slime on straight away because I didn't know how to do it. So what you need is this stuff. So basically slime crystal. So I've got an ender slime crystal. The recipe for this is just cooking purple uh, ender slime balls and you get one of these crystals. It takes quite a long time, 20 seconds. We need to do that on the blast furnace. So after, after a while we get these and all we need to do, then do is put those onto the, onto the tool like this. And then it almost fills it up. And then we can come along here. We can then put down. Let's. I don't want all of these because it takes a while to, to do. But we can. Have I got with me? A, yes, I've got a builder's wand. Let's see the builder's wand. Now, normally, if you have a look at the uses of the draconium uh, ore, and the draconium ore, the uses of this, you can smelt it, it gives you one. You can arc furnace, it still gives you one. You can crush it, it gives you five. So you get five in the um, crusher, for, which is actually very good. You can wash it. Now, this is the one I'm not 100%. This gives you raw meat. And then the usage of this, so one of these gives you 100 millibuckets. And I guess that the process here, fermented ender or meat, gives you 100, gives you 200. And then the use of this should then 100. So that's basically doubling it which is not that exciting to be dead on the screen. Let's go back again. Um, world generation tells you where it comes, and it comes in the end at different heights. So, so from basically 9 to 63. Then the energized smelter will give you 1. The enrichment chamber will give you 5. Mm, that's interesting. 5 or in the enrichment chamber. So maybe that's worth doing. Uh, redstone furnace will give you 1. Pulverize will give you 5. So this is a uh, thermal surge. We haven't done that yet. So if we break these four here, now this pickaxe is luckiest. Let's just hold down the alt key. Uh, I think four is a reasonable sample. Maybe we should make it eight. Make it eight. <laughs> and hold down the alt. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's make it ten. It's easier to calculate, isn't it? Let's go back. Let's put down two more. So that should give a good average. Oops, pressing the wrong button, by the way. It's okay. So let's now break these. If we get 50, then we're doing really well. So we actually got 46. So it's not quite as good as the um, infusion chamber. We also we did actually get XP with it as well. So we could put the rest of these into here. And this should give us five. Five per uh, ore. Let's have a look. Just wait and double check it's actually working. Yes, it is good. So then we could take these and we can put these into the furnace here. And using the energized smelter is quite good because you don't waste any power. It's a bit slow, but it's fine. And in here we've got, this should be going, yes, it's going up slightly. So these two are enough to power those two machines, plus fill this in. And in here I've just actually got, I've got, I've got baked potatoes in here. Now the, the uses of baked potatoes, strangely enough, in the crusher, this will give you seven biofuel. 
The recipe for biofuel, this is one of the ways to do it. Block of nether wart, which is probably a bit expensive compared to that's nine nether wart, isn't it? Peonies, leaves, and all sorts of things. I might have looked at this at some stage or other, but I found that sea pickles, at most of the plants will give you this. For example, one nether wart will give you five. But baked potatoes give you seven, so that's quite a good one. I thought that's, we'll do that because that's fairly straightforward and easy to do. This one, a cake, that's not easy to do, so we'll, we'll leave that one. The other cake was another seven. What's that? Warped, another warped box. That's, again, it's the same thing. Blocks and mushrooms. This one is pumpkin pie, which is probably worth eating rather than throwing, putting through the machine. Here we get some brown mushroom block. Again, it's the same thing. So baked potatoes looks to me like one of the best. Bread as well. Nah, bread's not so good. Because that bread is three wheat, and one wheat will give you five, so that doesn't make sense to that. Anyway, that that aside. So now we're almost ready to do the last of these things. So what we need is we'll put this in the top of it, the wyvern. Yeah, because in fact I've actually got all eight, but we always need an extra one in order to upgrade this one. So we need this. We need a block of a draconium or. Um, uh, Awaken Draconium on one of these. We need two Wyvern cores, I think they're called. Let's have a look at that. Hopefully I've got enough of these. No, I need four, I need eight of these Draconium cores. Let's do that. Hopefully we can do that. We can only do three, that's not enough. So what are we short of the recipe for this one? It's probably either gold, oh, this is gold. Let's go and get the gold. We should have plenty of gold in here, 64. That'll do for them. Well, plenty is nicely that much, but we've got plenty of gold in stock. So let's have a look. We're in a recipe for this one. That will give us our eight, which is fantastic. And then the uses of this one, in fact, we can do that from here because that's saved the recipe. We need two of these, so we're missing some draconium ingots. In fact, we're missing eight draconium ingots. So we can go and get those. Maybe they're ready now. I'm not sure. If they're not ready, we can go and get them from uh, the plants because the essence should be reasonably. We should have enough essence for four of these without too much of a problem. I looked at these last time, didn't I? At the end of the episode. I don't recognise all the, the sounds from the animals dying, by the way. <laughs> oh, by the way, when I come round here, I must well take them out of this and be full, won't it? Yes. And we can put the rest of these into here like this. So we're getting quite a large amount of ore from the end. And that was 64. And I've got two stacks of it, plus eight, actually. So now we should have enough to do this. Let's look at the rest uses of the, of the essence. That's the quickest way. Like that. So we've got 29 of that, plus these 18. So that's fine. Push those back over there and put, put the essence beside it. So we should then have a look at the uses of this. Oh, no, I want this one must be down to us do this way around. So we get two. And the other thing we need is just diamonds. So let's go and put these down. Now, I had told you about setting these into single mode last time. So I reckon that all of these are single item mode. So I can hold these in the hand like this and put those in. Then we need four diamonds. And what you've got to watch out for is that they're... Oops, see, that was the stack mode one. Let's take that off there. That single item mode to put one in that should be sufficient to craft this. Let's have a look. Indeed, it is. So, it doesn't take too long this particular recipe because it doesn't use that much in terms of power. There was another one I did, <laughs> I haven't shown you about, and it's the botany pot. And it was actually, I don't see it. Let's just look for pots then. Okay, oh God, I get these guys all the time. Here we go. I did a Mark I power pot. In fact, you have to use these in here. So you need a block of emeralds, not too difficult. Oops, back. go back again. Pressed another key. Basic energy cube, also not too difficult. Another block of emeralds. And then these cast iron blocks. Basically, it's just iron with the coal. Through the, through the um, temperature jar, it gives you this. So it says... A small pot growing many kinds of plants, automatically harvest and put in. So basically, it's the same as the, the pot here. 
but it's require it requires power and this cost 128 million to do this <laughs> it was expensive in terms of power we got this one now and we keep this one for the next for the next machine in fact i could actually put this one down i wonder if i can put it down beside this like this I'll put it on the side of this will that work yes it will that'll give the i haven't connected the power in there oh this is the <laughs> somebody here let's see if i can get him is traveler is it they're a damn nuisance <laughs> spawning in here is these also pain <laughs> anyway i missed him so now we can actually do the sluice so let's go and do the sluice in fact what we'll do is we'll convert one of the, the diamond sluices to another right sluice i think i've got a couple around um, and I'm not sure where they are at the moment, to be honest with you. Let's have a quick, they shouldn't be too far away. Maybe I've put them in one of these chests. No, I haven't. What have I done with the sluices? Oh, I know where they will be. I have a little box here beside. Oh, yeah, they should be in here. But they're not. Uh, there's one here. Well, let's use this one because I'm not going to use it for anything else. And there's one here with lava in it. Okay. Netherite, I reckon we've got stacks of. Probably stopped growing, in fact, because we've got so much of this stuff. Yep. Whether I should upgrade that, I don't think so, because it, it grows quite quickly, netherite. Try again. It'll give eight ingots of netherite, which, of course, also got stacks of. Love to it. So let's have a look at uses of the diamond sleuth. That wasn't right, was it? You'll need to do the uses. Uh, oh, smithing table. Okay, yes, that's what I need. Yes, sorry. So we need one of those ingots. Let's go back here. Netherite. Which one is it? Let's give it a quick sort. I just saw it then as it happens. Just before I sorted it, we should have then moved it. Um, that's silver, steel. I made a steel seat too because I thought they were probably worth doing because they take a bit of effort to make steels steel. There we go, 21. Take one of those. Let's put that into the smithing table, which is behind us. So now look at the uses of the netherite sluice. So in the fusion chamber, we need... Four blocks of blazing mesh. That's just, that's very straightforward. One bucket of lava and two netherite. And a five million uh, OP. Whatever OP is, I don't I know, but it's probably one of these things. So, we needed two netherite ingots. I should have taken three when I was here, but I forgot how many there were actually required. And I'm still having difficulty seeing it, even though they were exactly the same position as they were a second ago. <laughs> From with big chests, it's sometimes it's difficult to see, and I just having difficulty again. And you're going, oh, it's there, there, there. I'll look one, two. Bucket of lava we've got, and we've got seven blazing mesh. At the same time as doing this, did I have a? No, I got a gold mesh. Let, we should make a diamond mesh as well, because no, I'll do that afterwards. Let's put. Let's get this one started. So. Shift click that into place and then we just come along here. So the next thing we need would be two netherite ingots. It doesn't matter which order you put these in, so that's why I'm doing them like this. A bucket of lava. And then we needed four of these blazing meshes. And that should be ready to craft, which is. So let's press the craft button. Stand out of the way. As you may have noticed when you hold it on here, you can see that the charging is going up. And how fast it goes up, and then it's doing the crafting episode, eh, the crafting part. And then we have our empowered sluice. Fantastic. So now we've got that. That is actually the last of the quests in that one. I also did the last quest of exploration too. We'll cover that in a second. So now let's have a look at the, the diamonds mesh. Um, We need the blazing mesh. So we need the diamond mesh before we can do that. So what are we missing? Sticks. Sticks, strange. What's missing sticks? 
let's just go and get some from here. The reason I'm missing sticks is because there's a whenever I right click uh, 43 over there and when well, I've tried to get rid of some stuff I've been exploring with lots of uh, rotting flesh etc then I right click it in, in the in the spawning area and it takes all the sticks because they're dropped by witches there we go again let's try this one I've got plenty of time as you can see so now the uses of this one here we need to go with it so we need four blaze rod and four mana strings four mana strings I might have actually made I'm not 100% sure if I have made them this three string here isn't there I need a fourth string which we can get plenty of and then we need four blaze rods actually I can push, the, I can push those back again don't need those for the time being diamonds I probably don't need with me either so let's have a look one two I just need some more string let's go and get some more string about the easiest way to get string is just to go and get some from the copper I could go to I was going to go to the the mob farm but here we just take out two of those let me make that into string that actually gives us four string so we can come along here to the to the mana pool I haven't done them anything with uh, Britannia for quite a long time and then we've got our four string in here and that's producing some more mana I was using blocks of charcoal to produce mana so that was pretty good so the mesh let's put the diamond mesh in here oh I've got a bucket here so I have to get rid of that one as well so we needed four mana four mana string let's take that one off and then we needed four blaze rods let's have a look so that's ready to craft I'm not sure how much let's have a quick look before we do this let's how much power does it need five million so it'll go quite quickly stand out of the way and watch it because it's always good fun to watch Actually, I like the draconic evolution animation. It's one of the best, I think. So, <laughs> and we got it. So we've got our sluice. So now we next chapter accomplished. There we go. So we just need to test this now. So we got this diamond sluice, which has actually stopped running. Oh no, it hasn't. Let's break this netherite sluice. Let's break it like that. So now we're not going to be getting dust anymore we'll be getting ingots of stuff so let's put it down here and as you can see it immediately gets filled with water because of the aqueous accumulator put the mesh into it and as soon as we do that it should start to get um yeah fantastic and that, as you can see this is actually going faster but i guess there's a bit of slowness somewhere where's the slow oh it's got no that's got nothing in it why not oh here he is let's get rid of him Um, it's got no gravel in here. Ah, because I've been turning gravel into dirt. Oh, that was a bit daft. All right, okay. Let's just break. Let's just break this. This pick is very good, by the way. It's very fast. I'll put the auto hammer at the front. In fact, yes, that's right. Yes. So any one I'm not using, I'm just putting at the front, which basically means all of them. So the only thing I'm producing is gravel. So that should go through a bit faster. If we right click this now, we should see that those disappear. And then this should be working a bit faster, as you can see. What I haven't done is, of course, I haven't put in these, which brings us the power up again. I'm not going to bother increasing the speed because, as you can see, these are going through probably twice as fast as the other one. Let's have a look what we're getting as a, as a output. None of these will fill up here as output. You can see I've got a lot of diamonds and a lot of... Um, emeralds you can multiply that by three nothing yet oh, that's interesting i'm expecting to see some stuff come in here all right we shall wait a bit and i'll have a look at that in a minute or two what are we doing let's go and have a look at our quest rewards and get ready to put the stuff away quest rewards we've actually completed the empowered oh it required both bits okay Get a nice round of wood and not really. Oh, tier and range add on nine. That's probably quite good as it happens. Let's have a look over here. M miscellaneous. What do we do? Right, I did create this power pot mark one. And we get, oh, rare, a rare shader grab bag, which is a different one. What else do we get in here? I think 
Is that the only one? Yes. Mystical agriculture, we made some more seeds. Which one did we make? Steel seeds, I made the steel seed. Uh, is that the only one? No, it's not. I also made slime steel seeds as well. Oh yes, that's another useful one. Recipe for that one was slime steel, which is made from here. So we needed to cast that. Basically, we needed to cast ingots, slime steel. Slime steel was made with seared stone, so that's just grout. Uh, slime balls of the sky slime, so the blue ones, plus iron will produce this two ingots of slime steel. So I did that twice, made the seed. No big deal. So I completed with a builder. Actually, that's quite good. I might try that one out as it happens, because I would quite like to do that. And that's the end of that. Draconic evolution, we've completed the draconic fusing craft injector. And we get a plant plane strider sl slash and <laughs> sash. <laughs> Can't speak. So the next thing really in draconic evolution is the different uh, armor and weapons. We might have to look at that one. Industrial foregoing. Oh yes, we just got the wither builder. So we can claim the reward for that, which is an item filter. I'm not sure which from which mod that is. Let's just look. Oh, thermal series, the same one. Actually, that's quite handy. Go back and finish off the last of the quests. Exploration, that's right. Yeah, I got the I got a blue barrel. Blue barrels are found underwater. We can go and have a look at that one. I got a cyan laser. And if it's a pulsating crate, I think we saw that last time. It's certainly easy in the leather. Uh, halitosis muscle generator. Bad breath generator. Okay. What I've done here is I've got dry ice underneath this one. And what it's making is blue ice. So these are basically making ice slowly. It's actually the fastest way. And I've got a compacting upgrade in here. So that's then converting that into packed ice. So nine of those, which actually doesn't seem to be taking too long, will produce another blue ice. The uses of the blue ice is what we need to do in the energizer to make dry ice. And that's actually one of the things that we need. There we go. You see, just gone up to 17. So that's one of the things we need to do for um, the nuclear reactor or the reactor. Well, I'm still working on this one. This is a spirited capacitor. The recipe for these are actually spirited crystals and basic capacitors so i think i'm waiting for some more spirited crystals so we'll... i've only got f oh i've got 19 no i'm not waiting for that i'm waiting for something else maybe i don't know actually to be honest with you I probably could actually make a few more of those i think we'll do that another day when i'm ready this is the, we'll have 36 of these and we can then start to use the um have a look oh by the way you can enchant armor and well, maybe that's the respiration one respiration three and breaking protection three uh, and i would also like to look at but maybe not today uh, making our own um enchants as you can if you remember rightly these have gone up over here let's press control what's this guy got in here? has he got a... let's take the pickaxe it's as good as any this axe is really good <laughs> really cute killer <laughs> i've put i've actually lit this up this is one of the domes you find underwater like that i've lit up the whole area as far as i can see with torches hopefully and in here you get drowned spawning this is drowned spawning. we can break the we can break the things now so let's before i do that let me just check what i've got in my offhand i've actually got no space have i tell you what Let's just put everything into this shulker box. That should go in here, no problem. It's empty. I didn't put the rewards away. How come I've got another right sluice? Don't understand that. And a second blazing mesh. How did I get that from somewhere else? That's a bit weird. I don't understand that. I will be honest. Let's just take this out of here and keep this pickaxe. This one's got silky, so that's silk touch. And this is a premium one. It's actually got luckiest. I put luck in it. We'll have a look at those another day, I think. And I think that's good for this one. Let's just break it. 
And this is also perceived doesn't come up. Well, if I put my yes, I have. I put my magnet away. That's not good. <laughs> I knew I was. I knew I shouldn't have put something away. Where is the magnet? Here we go. Right. So in my offhand, probably in the bag here, I've probably got some torches. I haven't got very many, but we'll pick up a few as we go along. Uh, I certainly haven't got any mycelium torches, uh, mineral stone torches. So what we'll do is put the, the offhand here. Actually, that sounds like a drown, but I think they're outside. So let's just break the barrel. And then we can put a torch on top of it. Oh, I've opened a new chapter. Why? Ah, because we've got terra steel ingots. Okay, and we've got prosperity shards. Now the prosperity shards are coming from here, because this is this has got on it prosperous one. And the reason it's got prosperous one is because it's got, it's made with the premium pickaxe. Let's just do some more of these. This is one place you can find these. I got a, I've got a magic box, where, uh, a treasure bag. Let's have a look at what the treasure bag holds. Eight sponges and some compressed gravel. Is that a blue one? This usually gives you gold stuff. So it gets a gold nugget and a golden sword. Good for enchanting. Um, but that's about it. We've got black one here that will only give us uh, sea pickles. Get three sea pickles from this one. And then now I've got some one torch here. Let's put that over in my hand. Another blue barrel. What did we get that time? We got an iron chest and some iron ingots. Quite decent, quite a recent, recent, reasonable reward. And then the last green barrel here. I haven't got any more torches for this, no one. It'll probably be okay. So we got some slime boots for that one. And maybe we, oh, we got some prismarine crystals. Ah, oh, good. Can we make a seed out of those? No, we can't. Um. I'll be back in a second. I just want to check if I can make some torches. Yes, I can. I've got two in my backpack. That's right. Click. I've got in them two pieces of coal in the backpack, which just basically placeholders for when I go around doing coal. So that's that. This is this one. And there are other areas around. Here. Hey, up. Where's he come from? In fact, I'm not even sure what that was. It sounded like a skeleton, but it didn't look like a skeleton. Oh, there's a... There's another one. But it is night time, so probably best going back to base. I don't want to be harpooned if it's possible. Yeah, there's one, look. Oh, I didn't do him too much harm this time. Interesting, because he missed the first time. Because it's night time, of course, the mobs are out. Oh, is that where the law? Is that where the llamas? I wondered where the llamas had gone to from that mob. Um, you get what have we got here? Chicken, a slime, a llama, and a rabbit. Very good for catchy animals, those ships, if you don't want them to. There we go. So, quick over look at what we've actually got. I did actually get a trident from that. God, that's actually quite good. Got an arrow of slowness. Interesting. Um, bone slam boots and two leather from that last llama. Uh, see, three sea, sea pickles. Sponges and all the rest of it. Very good. I wonder if we can actually make a, a, a seed for the... Appetite we can do. That's no big deal. Ice seeds we've done already. Platinum seeds. I don't think we even want to do the slime seal seeds. I'm looking for the. Um, it's probably it's probably an agglomeration or something like that. Let's have a look. What have we done? Prismarine. This is the one. Yes. So we need two prismarine machines. Okay. So we need eight those and four of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one of these was a loot drop. Yes, there's a loot drop and we can actually crush 
uh, Prismarine shards. I haven't got Prismarine yet. Uh, Prismarine is, is what's the recipe for that one? Also a loot, a loot drop uh, from blue chests, and we get five. Well, that wouldn't be too bad. A couple of times doing that, we might be able to get us five percent chances too from blue chests. So before we go, let's see if we've actually got any stuff from here, because I'm pretty sure we should have. If not, I'm a bit sad. <laughs> That's empty. Have I got something wrong in here? Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> oh, that's where I got the sleep. Oh, let's see, I put the wrong one in. Okay. It's one of those daftnesses that I do from time to time. Let's, well, let's take the right one out of here. The blazing one is here. And then we can put the gold one and the... Oh, yes, of course, I know where I got it from now. Yes, that makes sense. Was it was the other one of these? I should have the diamond one and the gold is in here, that's why. Yes, because I dug up the netherite seed and uh, sluice and replaced it for that one, that's why I did that. Um, oh, yes, of course, it has to be on. <laughs> yes, this has to be lava, doesn't it, for the blazing sluice to work? Okay, <laughs> right, that is not going to work there, is it? So let's uh. Put that back again. <laughs> Oops. I tell you what. Where's the diamond? Let's go take the diamond mesh back again because it needs water for the diamond mesh. And the this one, the uses of this requires lava, doesn't it? And we get ingots. Well, that explains that. In fact, you get a 5% chance of another ancient debris. We don't need that anyway. What else do we get from this one? Gold ingots. From so you get 7% chance of Draconium or from crushed endstone. That's actually pretty decent. Sluicing. Cobalt ingots. Solium dust. That's decent. 40%. I think that's the best recipe for that. So it looks fairly good. In fact, you get a lot of copper and you get a few quite a reasonable amount of iron ingots. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll set that up for next time. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, until next time, and wish you all the best. Bye for now.